So we got another two for this week, and I think that these two portions are put together for a really important reason, and it sends us a really beautiful message. So Acharemo talks about a lot of the commandments that the Jews needed to do. It was basically a lot of don't do this, don't do that, and don't do the other thing. And the message I got from that was you just left the place, you just left Egypt, which was a place of impurity and immorality and disgustingness and you need to number one break that habit of of being influenced by that but not only that you're going to go to another place yes the land of Israel has an intrinsic holiness but the people that live there as of as of that point were just as immoral as those in Egypt so not only do you have to break free from a habit but you need to go and maintain your strength and remain away from those types of things. So it was just a bunch of don't do's, don't do's, don't do's. The next section, Kedoshim, talks about a lot of ways you act toward your fellow. And the first sentence says, Kedoshim to you, be Kadosh. What does Kadosh mean? So according to one opinion, Kadosh means separated. You need to separate yourself. The only way to remain free from from a tendency whether it was something you you already struggled with or something that has the potential to ensnare you you need to be separate but it doesn't say to each individual person you need to be separate it says to all of the Jewish people you as a nation need to be separate so what does that mean we all need each other you can't do this alone. If someone is, is, is just tempted and, and, and swallowed up by something that, that, that was something they used to do or something that's just so tempting for them to do now, it's extremely important to have a support system. You need to have other people who are separate, who are elevated, people who can help pull you up if you're, if you're drowning. And that's why these two are together. Not only do you need to separate yourself from a bad thing, but you need to separate yourself with people. It's a unified front that will help you succeed. So if you think you could do it alone, be realistic. Get a friend. Get a crew. Get your Jewish people. And if you're feeling separate from your Jewish people, realize you need them. They need you. May we unify ourselves so that we can tread above water, above all these tests that exist in this world, and be able to come out of it as a strong, unified front. Have a wonderful Shabbos, and I hope to see you next week.